Good evening. This time, we are working with this TCOM, which is UHD. And we are going to change the VGH voltage. We can also change the VGL voltage. As you can see, we already have the points soldered here. We have the VGH solder points, the VGH point and the L point and we are going to use the RT809H or RT809F. In this case, we will use the H with the connectors and power it using this 12 volts adapter. We connect the adapter and as you can see we already have a VGH voltage there. We have made the connection for the VGH voltage and we can be done with the TCON HD at TCON full HD and in this case we have a UHD. We will proceed to make the change after all the connections we have made which the is I2C through the I2C bus which is data clock and ground. So the RT 809H is already connected and we will first let it detect auto ISP and we see that the type of PMIC is the TPS 65178A we search for it there in the library select it and accept it once accepted we read it and hear it to us if we want to save it and this time we will not save it and we will make the change directly so we set the buffer and here in the buffer we will make the change as we are in VGH, it is 00, 01, 02, 03, 04, 05. In 05, we will make the change. Okay. So we mark it and go to where it has 05. It has 21. And we can lower or rise it. If we want to lower it, we will set it to 02. We set 02 here. As you can see in row 0, column 00. 01, 02, 03, 04, 05 in column R5. We made the change, we click accept and must write it. When writing, the voltage should change. As you can see on the multimeter, the voltage changed from 18. Now we will raise it higher. We click to read OK again console and uh, we will not save it. It click identify or simply go direct seven to five TP. Out there is the PEM MI number. We select it again, click in console, go to buffer. We could have read it again 
and made the change again. So we want to change it to O2, which the column O5 row O. Now let's set it to O8. We will set it to O8. Simply mark there. Set it to O8. The indicator always jump here. That it's the one we changed to O0. Click accept. And then if you look at the multimeter when writing, it changed. Now it went up to 24. And so on. We can adjust the voltage up and down after repairing a display. We can make that adjustment to lower the VGH voltage. In this case, we are working with the VGH voltage. Now we will work with the VGL voltage, which is the other point we have here. We remove this point and put the other test point. We will do one. It can stay like this. The rubber stay up to here. We set the rubber. As you can see, the VGL voltage is now at minus 6. We read it again since it has already been detected and everything. Okay. We cancel it so as not to save it. So we read it and here we will see. In this case, the change BGL, it is now 0600, row 0, column 060600, 010203040405 is the one we changed for VGH. And now we go to 06. We will make the change here, which is at 34. We will see it to 4. Set it 8, set it 8, say OK, click read and set it to 8, we have 8, uh, click in accept and then write it is negative, VGL voltage, write and as you can see it went up to 729, so from zero, uh, let's see, it was at 34. Now we will lower it back to the original value. Read it again, S say no, then go back to buffer. Now we are in row zero, column six, considering zero. Well, it's not. Oh, it's 00, 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, and 06, which we changed to 8. Now, let's lower it to O. Set it to O. Click Accept, then Write. See if it writes. Let's turn on the multimeter again. Okay. It shows minus 7. It went up to minus 7 from the previous value. Now it should lower to negative value. Let's write it 
and as you can see from minus 7 it went down to minus 6 so that it's the process for friends thank you so much